Residents interested in learning about the Boston Harbor recently had an opportunity at the Attleboro Public Library. Friends of the Boston Harbor Islands were gracious enough to lend an exhibit to the library which highlights the history of the Boston Harbor. Throughout Labor Day, the library will host the exhibit which features artifacts and photographs that will help tell the story of the Boston Harbor. We spoke with Christine Laforte to learn more about the exhibit. I'm Christine Laforte. I'm the Reader Services Coordinator here at the Attleboro Public Library. And for the month of August through Labor Day, we now have an exhibit hosted by the Friends of Boston Harbor Islands. Mr. Kevin Rogers is my contact and for the past five years he's been coming through the summer to put in displays promoting use of the Boston Harbor Islands. The islands are part of the National Park System and visitors can go by boat obviously that they provide different ferries and shuttles on different days to different islands. Uh, some of these islands allow camping, some are hiking, some are fishing, some are historic like Fort Warren I believe is on uh, George's Island and that was used as a Civil War prison. Um, there are also different types of um, ecosystems that the park rangers there uh, educate the public about and many of these things are right at your back door. It's a great place to um, spend summer vacation when you haven't gone too far. They have been doing this for the past few years as part of the library legacy project and these displays go from library to library through the state of Massachusetts to promote the, the use and the education of the Boston Harbor Islands. The exhibit here is going to be here through September 6th, uh, at which time uh, we will be putting in an exhibit that will coincide with the big read that we will be having this fall. But for now, if folks want to come in, we have all kinds of information on how to get to the Harbor Islands, the programs that they run, the tours that they give, and the educational programs that they run. They have promoted um, many of the different things through their lighthouses especially. The islands do have lighthouses where you are able to visit. Actually, uh, uh, Boston Light is the oldest lighthouse in the country and that is located in the uh, Harbor Islands as well. Um, also, they have different calendars and bags and they also have provided the library with copies of some of their books that they uh, sell of course but we here at the library have a couple of copies for you to check out if you're interested in the Boston Harbor Islands their use and their history. We use the display cases as a way to educate um, our community. We try very hard to try and get in different types of exhibits which would interest um, many folks uh, there are some things I'm sure that uh, people like better than others, but it would also educate people to other different types of um, exhibits that we have here at the library. Many of them actually come from people here in town that have special hobbies or different um, organizations like uh, nonprofits. In April, we had New Hope uh, promoting uh, domestic violence awareness. So all these different types of exhibits are here for the public to see and they are for, for enjoyment and for education. Right now, yes, the Boston Harbor Islands are here for education, but also for enjoyment. They can be visited most any time of the year and um, they're right in our backyard and it's a, it's a re resource that um, people can, can visit with just within the hour. So it's all of these types of things that we try to bring to the public to use them you know, as an educational tool as well as enjoyment.